Hey guys and welcome to the vlog. Today is a show vlog which is very exciting as you can see by the truck in the background there. It is half five in the morning and we are leaving at seven so I'm just going to get the horses now. It was definitely an early start and I struggled to get out of bed but it's gonna be all worth it. And maybe I'll have a sneaky um, sleep in the lorry on the way up I think. So yeah, I'm gonna go get the two horses today. I'm jumping Welbeck and Cal. Cal is jumping the 90 and the meter and Welbeck is jumping the 110. So it should be good. It's Welbeck's first show in a long time because um, with college and everything, I was really busy and with I was riding Fiona instead. So I just didn't really have time to ride her at all for the last while, but now she's back. And I'm really, really excited to bring her to her first show. And Cal, the last show he went to was about four weeks ago and he just jumped the 90. And that was his first show this year, so again, he hasn't done much this year. Um, so yeah, it should be interesting and hopefully they all jump well. Uh, we're going to Cavan, which is a three-day show, but we're just jumping the last day, which is today, Sunday. So uh, yeah, it's going to be a busy, big atmosphere, but um, I'm sure they'll both do great. So yeah, I'm going to go get them now. So Cal is currently getting plaited while getting a little massage. Well, Beck is over there. Looking pretty chilled out. So I'm just going to finish grooming and then load them up. Hello, Cal. The lats are all done. And ready to go. So I didn't vlog very much at the show, so I thought I'd do my post-round analysis now. And uh, yes, there is still a Christmas tree in the background. It will get taken down eventually. So I was really, really happy with Cal's round. This was his one meter round. Um, he was definitely a lot more aware of the fences than the 90. The 90, he was kind of looking around, he's distracted a bit, he wasn't really paying attention, but the meter, because they were a little bit bigger, they actually got his attention. So from now on, we're not gonna be doing the 90 anymore. We think it's too small for him, so we're gonna be sticking with the meter. 
Um, he had such a lovely rhythm the whole way around the course. This is one thing he has always had this really nice rhythmical canter around the jumps. He never really like steps out of rhythm. He never speeds up or slows down. It's always just the same, which is very nice to ride and it also makes finding strides very, very easy. The key to finding a good stride is to have a good rhythm. If your canter is the same every stride, um, you will be able to find the right distance to a fence. But if your canter stride is getting longer, shorter, longer, shorter, how are you meant to know how many strides to a fence when the canter is always changing? So if you are finding it tough um, finding a stride to a fence, try to focus on the rhythm of your canter. This was a tip given to me ages ago and I find it so helpful, so I just thought I'd say that. Um, the one fence he knocked was because his canter was getting a little bit strung out and a little bit long and then he just kind of caught it behind and yeah he just jumped a little bit flat over that so then after that I just sat back up and um, got him back to, to, um, together underneath me a bit more and then he jumped lovely after that. I don't know if you noticed but to the second fence he kind of thinks he's just cantering around a circle and he doesn't realize he's going to the fence so he was so honest to just um the minute i felt him i just pulled him back into the jump he was like okay and then jumped it perfectly which was really really nice of him uh the two doubles i was very very pleased with um the first double was quite a long one stride a lot of people were chipping in two especially if you were under paced at all people were getting two strides but cal just very calmly did one stride he just has a really big big scopey stride so it's very very easy to do that and then to the other double again he was very good um, I really couldn't fault him he was disunited which means he was on the correct leg in front but the wrong leg behind and he just kind of found his way and found his balance and jumped over it and that's just the learning um, that he's gonna go through the second time I, I jumped that fence and came around on the left rein he picked up his change perfectly I think he realized this time he knew, knew where he was going whereas the previous time he was kind of like oh do I need to change my leg and so it's just fun to see how he learns through the course so that's kind of my analysis for his round next week we're going to jump the meter and then we'll see how that goes if you want to jump maybe the meter 10 we'll see and yeah very very happy with him he's a good boy Cal's biggest fan <laughs> Daddy. So now onto Welbeck, she is obviously a completely different horse. Um, I wish I could send some of her energy out of her and into Cal because Cal is very laid back and Welbeck is very go, go, go. 
So the warm up was not ideal because I was one of the first people to go. So I was there when the tractor came in to level the arena and because it's an indoor, they had to raise these big rolling doors and it made so much noise and Welbeck was not too chilled about it. And that warmed her up a little bit. So it took a while to settle her down, but she did settle down. She was quite good, but she did get very sweaty in the process, hence the sweat on her neck. So yeah, I was jumping her in the warm up and she was over jumping everything by miles and like landing miles away from the fence because she was just jumping so high. Oh man, she was very excited to be out again. Um, that made me a little bit worried for the double because I was worried she would jump in so big that she wouldn't have time to get back for the second part, but she aced it. She, knew, she knows her job. Um, even the double was an oxer in and then a vertigo. And the vertigo was a little bit small, so I was like, mm, is she even gonna see this? But she did, she was very, very good and careful over it. Um, yeah, despite her being quite quick, she stayed really, really careful. After the second double is the jump off. The jump off starts and I obviously do quite a tight turn. I'm still annoyed that she knocked that fence because you don't hear her hit it. You don't even see her hit it. You just see the pole hit the ground. The previous person knocked it and I'm I think they didn't put it back up properly. <laughs> but anyway, so I jumped that, I did a tight turn afterwards, which she kind of thought she was jumping the other fence backwards, but I was like, no, we're returning. And we did a long gallop to a vertical, which she obviously stayed really careful because <laughs> you can literally gallop to a vertical and she just goes, okay, I'll just jump higher. She's great. But I did another tight turn, but then I was kind of thinking, oh, look, she's already knocked. There's not a hope of me placing. There was so many people in that class. Like you definitely have to go double clear and very fast to even place. So I kind of slowed her back down and was thinking, hmm, the next time I jump her, I'll be thankful for me slowing her back down for these last two jumps. So I slowed her right back down, got a nice um, kind of closer stride to the very last fence, which was a vertical, just to keep her not like thinking galloping and long strides to fences, just getting her thinking about me and backing off fences a little bit more again. So she did come back to me really well, which was good. She really came back for that last fence. So I was happy with her, she was very, very excited. I thought, sure, look, if I went clear in the first round, I might as well go for the time. These things don't always work out, but it's just fun to try. And I know she'll take on any fence and can turn any tight turn, no problem. So yeah, I was really happy with her. This week, I'll just keep doing a little bit more jumping, more flat work, just to, again, keep her settling back down into the swing of things. Next week we will jump the 120 and um, we're gonna move on from the 110. That was just kind of to get us back into the swing of things. But um, I think she's definitely ready for a 120. She's definitely telling me she wished she was jumping the 120 in the warm up. Oh man, I wish I had gotten video of some of those jumps. She was a mile over them. Um, but yeah, again, really, really happy with her. Um, yeah, I can't wait for next week. Here we go.